Yeah, Brad, Ben, another classic tussle with Ireland. What are your thoughts on today's one? Yeah, it was always going to be a classic tussle, wasn't it? Um, yeah, we fully expected, uh, you know, a, a tough encounter today, despite the fact that Ireland had, had come off, um, you know, a, a poor batting display against uh, Zim. We knew that there was going to be a kickback from that, and uh, no uh, Celtic battle is easy. So. Uh, we got what we expected, and that was that was a tough, uh, tough encounter. But just not uh, clinical enough all round today. Um, yeah, the game is pretty simple. If you, if you uh, do two out of the three facets well, uh, you're you're in the game. If you do three out of three well, you'll win the game. Uh, I thought uh, we were probably beaten in, in at least two of those facets today, batting, bowling, fielding. I thought um, certainly in the in the field started off very well and and finished very well pretty much a similar scenario with the bat would you agree with that yeah look, uh, I think the game is there for the for the winning um, you know at both ends of the, the spectrum really um, I thought we bowled very well um, initially there was a little bit in the track and the overheads today um, you know made the decision on the toss a little bit tricky um, but the overheads today kept the pitch quite cool and uh, the, the cracks didn't open up today uh, like they have done previously so there was a little bit in it early and the bowlers created some chances um, yeah we, we were unlucky we, we um, perhaps uh, felt we had Bel, uh, Belburni early uh, we had another run out chance uh, with him as well so yeah those are the little fine lines that uh, that you've got to take and, uh, and I think they were uh, quite key in terms of uh, the total that they got um, but having said that, the, the track uh, was a good one, you know, at half time the sun was still not out and didn't really come out all afternoon so there was no fear in terms of um, excess turn or wasn't you know, really slowing up or keeping low so uh, yeah, the, the opportunities were there to win the game with the bat for sure. Uh, really proud of the fight um, that uh, was shown in the, in the lower order. Uh, but at 94 for one, uh, I think the, there was a platform to, to take the game uh, deep into uh, enemy territory. So obviously a few days off now just to, to recharge and, and reflect on that one and then straight shoot out with the West Indies. Would you have taken that at the start of the tournament? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, we set a mission to win this thing um, uh, in our tour to Dubai uh, pre-Christmas and, uh, you know, we're now uh, one game away from making the final. So. Um, uh, look, you know, it's, it's not doom and gloom. We'll take the positives away from uh, today. Um, yeah, there's no days off really, <laughs> and, uh, because a lot of our preparation is uh, is just our um, thought processes and just make sure we're getting our plans right for the, the surfaces that we're facing. Uh, it's been quite tricky reading the reading the conditions both in Bulawayo and here, uh, but we're getting a handle on, on that, and um, you know, we've got some smart minds in the team. So we'll, we'll um, reflect on today. You know, there's a little bit of emotion now, and, and we'll let that sit and. Uh, we'll come together again tomorrow morning and um, and hatch a plan for what is um, you know great opportunity for for cricket Scotland uh, you know to to take another full member uh, team on um, you know these these opportunities we're crying out for more more games of cricket and uh, you know it's a great opportunity on uh, on Tuesday to uh, take on uh, you know what is traditionally a, a very very good team um, but also to hit them uh, you know with some real determination to complete our mission and that's uh, to win this tournament. Thanks coach.